Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are looking at more AP Physics 1 uh, circular motion problems. So let's take a look at this. Um, I, again, I encourage you to pause the video at this point. You know, take a look at the problem, try to do the problem, and then if you're stuck or after you've completed, just come back, watch the video, see and how it compared to some of my answers. An amusement park ride consists of a rotating vertical cylinder with rough canvas walls. The floor is initially about halfway up the cylinder shown above. After a rider has entered the cylinder and is rotating sufficiently fast, the floor is dropped down, and yet the rider does not slide down. The rider has a mass of 50 kilograms, the radius r of the cylinder is 50 meters, and the frequency of the cylinder when rotating is 1 over pi revolutions per second. The coefficient of static friction between the rider and the wall is 0.6. So a bunch of information about this thing. On the diagram drawn, identify the forces on the rider when the system is rotating and the floor has dropped down. Okay, so... There's no floor, so I do have gravity. Um, I have, the wall is pushing on you, like the wall, a container, because that's what's constraining you to be in a circle here. We'll call this the normal force. I know normally the normal force is on the ground pushing, but here the wall is pushing against you. You feel the wall pushing against you if you are in this ride. Okay, now, there's got to be more forces. Well, what's fighting me from sliding down is friction. Right? That's everything. Calculate the centripetal force on the rider when the cylinder is rotating and state what provides that force. Okay, the centripetal force is given by m v squared over r. We have his mass, 50 kilograms. Um, v, R is 5 meters. Now, the we're not given V directly, but we're given the frequency. So, omega, oh, um, 1 over pi revolutions per second. Um, so, um, it goes... Uh, revolutions per second. That means in it does one revolution... Let me see. In one second, it does one over pi revolution. In other words, to think of it is there's pi seconds, it does one revolution. Okay. So we can compute his linear velocity from that. The distance that one revolution travels is 2 pi r. 2 pi r divided by the time, pi. So his velocity is 2 pi r over pi. That's just equal to 2 r. Well, because this is uh, distance, meters, and this is in pi seconds. So um, meters per second. 2 r meters per second. r is um, 5, so this is 10 meters per second. So we got to do 10 meters per second squared. Okay, 100, uh, 50 divided by 5 is 10. 10 times 100 is 1,000, 1,000 newtons, okay? And what is applying the centripetal force? It's the normal force. Force from the wall of the ride, the cylinder. Okay, that's the source of the, the normal force. This, this is causing the centripetal, this is what's keeping him going in a circle, okay? Calculate the upward force that keeps the rider from falling when the floor is dropped down state what provides that force. Well, here, the force of friction is what keeps him up, and it has to equal mg. The m is 50 kilograms. The g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And so that equals um, 49 newtons. And that's friction from the, uh, friction from the, um, the wall. At the same rotational speed, would a rider twice the mass slide down the wall and explain your answer? Well, let's 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 kind of um, see the maximum frictional force. By the way, would have been mu times a thousand because it would have been points. It would have been um, uh, six hundred newtons, right? That's the frictional force. That's the maximum frictional force. But all I needed to succumb was um, oh, actually, this is four hundred ninety newtons. I don't know how I got. 
yeah, this is 490 newtons. This is 600 newtons. So, so say we doubled him. The centripetal force would double, so then it would be 2,000 newtons. So the maximum frictional max would have been mu times 2,000, and that would have been equal to 0 0.6 times 2,000. Uh, that's 1,200 newtons. Someone who weighs twice as much, twice as mg, would be um, 100 times this would be 980 newtons. So see the maximum frictional force is larger than 980 so no he would not slide down okay so you see kind of with the, the 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 bigger mass he actually has a larger centripetal force at the same time he has a larger mat weight but they sort of cancel each other out um so no even though he's heavier the fact that he's moving faster means a larger centripetal force larger normal force hence um it would fight the friction better so all right, that's that one. I uh, hope you guys found it helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content, and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.